Hi guys, welcome to this session on Power BI. In this session, I'm going to show you some of the basic features you get with Power BI. First of all, I'm going to select Get Data. While this is loading up, you could also enter data manually from this screen um, rather than getting data, but I have some data set in Excel, so we'll get that one. Data Import, and then it should load up the data. Well, while it's doing that, quick look at these things. You've got three panes on the right there. You've got filters, visualizations, and fields. And if I just tick this table, this is a table I want from Excel, and that's the data I have prepared. So I click load, and then that will load, and these columns should appear in the fields area. go there's the field so this is how it works you basically have these visualizations to use you can create tables maps on all these different charts and it's a case of just dragging and dropping these fields and then filtering the data so very simply let's have a look at um, products if I just drag products and let go it will create a table as default if I go sale so I know what the sale is on those products and give you total of sales and if I do a different one, so if I go get salesperson and sale next to that salesperson and then maybe region in there. So then that makes that a slightly larger table, but you still get the same idea. And then let's do a different one again. So if I go um, region by date. That becomes a huge table now because it's going to show you all of the information, which is basically the entire Excel spreadsheet. If I put the price in there as well, you can see that. Now you have all these filters, um, all date, month, all date, quarter, all. So if I just change that to select just the first quarter sales, then it's just showing the first quarter sales and the summary at the bottom there still quite big you've got all these records um, if I just collapse that out of the way for a second you've got region all so if I go for one of the regions you can see how that would work if I just go for say Manchester first quarters on and then check Man Manchester it should bring that information down a little more tick Manchester now you can see all that information I can bring this this box back to the top now if I click on any one of these if I click on Dave Green Dave Green is in Yorkshire so that's his sales and that's what is sold if I click him again it brings everything back if I click on one of the Manchester ones because I've got this filtered by Manchester Michael Jones you can see the sales in Manchester for Michael Jones and that's the products he's sold so that's the table. So if I go and create, just call that general. So you can name these like you can in Excel. If I click plus, I'll get myself another page and I'll call this one charts and then use some of these visualizations. So if I pull product by salesperson and sale, gives a figure. And then let's have a look how that would sit in a graph. So Do I like that graph? Not really. It's not really relevant. Turn it the other way around. Very hard to see. Some people like those sorts of graphs. Not for me. Let's go for this one. Okay, that's okay. Let's leave it like that for a minute. Then let's do another one. So we go for region by sales. Region by sales. Change that. So I've got a pie chart. That looks okay. Pie chart. Let's go for another one. Let's go for product and salesperson and sales. Let's go for a donut chart. And again, you can make that bigger. And as before, when you click on an element in these graphs, if you click on this, the other graphs will reflect 
that selection. So I click that back again, it'll come off, and then I'll click something on the pie chart. So then that shows you the relevant piece on the other chart. And if I click it again, it brings that data back. Now let's go back to a new sheet and then let's just look at um, let's call this target. So I want a product by salesperson and then sale. So across the top then you've got some tools. Um, some of these are replicating the things I'm doing by dragging and dropping. But you've got um, the ability to put a new column in there, a new measure as it's called. And if you go into the modeling tab, you can see that there's similar sort of things there, a few more options. But from the home tab, let's just create a new measure. What happens then, it works. It gives you a space at the top of the screen for you to type a measure in. And I'm just going to call this one target. You can call it what you want. And this is a very simplistic look at things but let's just put 250,000 as the target tick that creates the um, new measure and then you get the target field there so if I bring that into this make this a bit bigger you get the target field there now if I do that as a graph so if I go um, Salesperson, sales, and target. And then let's have a look at that as a graph. So what about this one? Salesperson, so if we go with that one. Yeah, it's all case, it's a case of just picking the right graph that tells you it's a waterfall graph. So probably something similar to this. Um, now if I just leave this one on, I'm just just so we've got salesperson column. So I put target in there. I put target in there. Put sales in there. Whoa! Don't like that one. Definitely don't like that. So, column series, so let's just put what's happened there. Okay, we're getting there, getting there, we're getting there. So, target in there and sales in there. So, they're all going straight through the target. So, they're all making way, way above the target line. So, what I'm trying to show you guys is you just play around with these visualizations until you get the, the, the end product that you're after. It's totally up to you. But if I click on Dave, uh, Dave Green there, there's Dave Green, click him again, comes back, Michael Jones, Michael Jones, okay, I'm going to come back. And another feature up the top here, you've got ask a question, I'll click ask a question, and then you basically have um, some questions, recommended questions, so top regions by target, top, re top products by target. So that's not really relevant for this sort of data, actually. So I'm just going to delete that, delete that, that one altogether. Let's, let's try it on this one. Ask a question. That's the same one. I'm going on to a different sheet. Yeah. So here we go. We've got some more options here. Top regions by target. What is the target of the product? It's all about target. So let's try top region sale. Yorkshire. Top region salesperson. Okay, I'm liking that one. So let's just expand that. There's your salespeople. So it's it's just um quite a cool little tool really to type a question in there about um, top region Yorkshire top region 
and you can just populate these sheets with these visualizations and you can also use um, text boxes to just type information type intro info or report info whatever you require to make it easy for people to understand your report you get this very simple text formatting toolbar there and but that's a text text box okay so that's the first stage of power bi and that's all i want to cover today in later sessions we'll go through these other things in more detail and we'll look at linking things together managing relationships pulling multiple tables in and then creating the same sort of dashboard um, having things linked together things that you can drill down and really really get this singing your song in terms of your your company's data but that's it for now i hope you enjoyed this very very brief introduction to power bi thank you for your time <laughs>